here we go again. You know, these folks are on a serious campaign to terrorize us out in public. It don't matter if they're high on drugs, drunk on alcohol, or sober. When they spot one of us, they want to just come over and start the whole thing <laughs> and make all kinds of accusations in the process. There were two black men that were walking through a subway and some loud, drunk white woman comes up, makes a beeline over to them and then start accusing them of following her. And at one point they even stopped walking and turned back just so she could walk ahead of them. And she doubled back and got back in their face again. Ladies and gentlemen, the only way to shut these people down is to start getting real serious and slapping on the lawsuits. We just haven't done it enough. You know, they have gotten away with doing this kind of stuff for four centuries and now are literally in their comfort zone. I'm still trying to figure out how this woman got so propped up up in here. <laughs> I'm serious. You know, the only way to make an appealing person seem appealing is throwing a whole bunch of propaganda around them. And if you notice, their propaganda machine is not working like it used to. Look, they got Trump on a 24-7 cycle and he's still very much unliked out here. And the only reason why this woman seems so propped up is because they have saturated her all on TV, all in the magazines, all in the newspapers, and even in all of the online advertisement practically. If all of this artificial propping up was not done on a 24 hour cycle, would you even look at this woman or even like her? Seriously, ask yourself that question. Would you even like this woman if, if all of this artificial propping up wasn't done? I think we all know the answer to that question. <laughs> you know, the woman that they give the most plastic surgery to and then cake 10 pounds of makeup on her and then tell us that's the most beautiful woman. I mean, <laughs> I mean, some of them pictures, I got to laugh. Even some of these celebrities. I, I, is it me or do you notice that many of these celebrities that they got propped up, especially the females, that they got propped up are not attractive at all? It, they got to draw their faces on for them to even look halfway decent. <laughs> I mean, seriously. So this is Atlanta Black Star, ladies and gentlemen. Watch drunken white woman stumble onto New York uh, subway, New York City platform, falsely accuse black men. It should be men because there were actually two of them of following and harassing her. And these guys were not even thinking about this woman until she got up in their face. They were just walking along, minding their own business. But you know this woman. She thinks she deserves attention from white men. She thinks she deserves attention from black men. <laughs> she thinks she deserves attention from dogs, cats, everything. Okay, y'all. December 5th, 2019, a New York woman was filmed throwing a drunken fit in the city subway this week, stumbling to and fro. She wrongfully accused two black men of stalking and harassing her. Yeah. Twitter user ad Doug Life posted the video Sunday showing the unnamed woman following and cursing the men near the turnstiles of the Columbus Circle Station in Midtown Manhattan. 
At one point, she attempts to block the pair from getting through the turnstiles and even assaults one of them. Yeah, she took a swing a couple of times, you know, and a lot of people would have reacted in a way that she would not have been able to handle. I mean, she lucky she encountered these two that did not give her the smackdown that she really truly deserved. You know, ladies and gentlemen, it's bad enough these folks approach us and try to terrorize us out in public. It's a whole different thing when they start putting their hands on you. You got every right to defend yourself. I don't care who she is at that point. So she is talking shit about their mama and I mean, just going all overboard. But let me go ahead and play this video that was posted. Let me see if I can get to it. And this was posted by um, Doug Life, fake woke black person. <laughs> Uh, now, hashtag Black Twitter. What would y'all done in this situation? Enough is getting enough. Drunk or not, this lady needs to be held accountable. Yeah, you need to find out who she is. Definitely need to find out who this woman is. All right. Let's see if we can get this to play. She's a fucking cunt. Your mother's a whore, guy. Like you. Why do you follow her? Follow her. Follow her. Follow her. this woman propped up on any pedestal y'all we've seen her show her ass multiple times <laughs> a multitude of times in this country why why is this woman propped up seriously y'all why is this woman propped up all over this country It's definitely by force because if they did not own the media, who the hell would pay attention to this woman? It, if we made a concerted effort to ignore her for about a day, she it would probably be mass suicides across the damn country. All right, y'all. Mm -mm -mm. So as you can see, once again, you got these people, it doesn't matter, drunk, sober, high, they will make a beeline over to black people and start harassing you out in public. And this has become so damn prevalent to the point where it's just 
ridiculous. So she proceeds to say, your mama, uh, your mama's a bitch. The woman is heard saying before asking the men, why are you following me? Follower, follower, follower. They weren't. And if you notice, as she was walking away, they stopped. They didn't even want to walk alongside of her. They actually held back to just let her go, but she kept doubling back. So if you kept doubling back, how are you being followed? Okay. Um, one of the men make a clear effort to avoid the drunk bitch as she chases them back and forth across the platform, still accusing them of pursuing her. Why? She wasn't even attractive. Why would anybody pursue these women? Woo, please wake up, everybody. Wake up. Wake up. It, it's almost like we're under some type of witchcraft spell across this country. We have been, we've had a spell cast on us. And it's time to snap out of it for real. So she tells the man, her, uh, you know, her his mother is a whore. <laughs> A uh, effing cunt, among other things. Uh, what are you going to do? You going to F fight me? Somebody should have knocked the shit out of her. Um, you're a follower like your mom. Your mom is a broke ass bitch. I mean, she's just going on and on and on and on. Even said nigga. Oh, oh really, nigga? She shoots back. Like, whatever, you have no money. <laughs> okay, woo, you have no money. And I would say the wrong people got the money. The wrong people, people like her, the wrong ones. <laughs> oh, man. Man, this woman is so overrated, it ain't even funny. I'm serious, y'all. This woman is so damn overrated. Been overrated for centuries up in this country. Now, mind you, they lynched black men over this woman. Does this woman seem like she's worth anybody getting lynched for? I wouldn't lynch an ant. She ain't worth a, an ant getting lynched up, up in here. <laughs> but they lynched our men over this thing right here. Over this And she's so not worth it. It ain't even funny. It's so not worth it. Like I said, we this country is under a spell. And that spell must be broken. For real. For real. You know, This has been forced upon us long enough. The spell must be broken. It must be broken, y'all. But please tell me what you think. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell. And I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.